Hello everybody. Up until the last video, I have been speaking Korean. Uh, I learned that since the whole world is can watch the video you make, so this time I'm going to use English language, and I try. Mm, do I feel comfortable? I hope so. Kind of is late. Uh, uh, 10 after 11 in Korea at night. I feel sleepy, but uh, I'll try. What I have been telling you up until the last time in Korean was about my arrival, which was uh, in, Decem in December 1972. I was arriving in America. First, I went to uh, Seattle, Washington, and then I cleared the custom, and then I went to O'Hare Airport. And there I couldn't continue my journey because I had to go to way down to uh, Muncie, Indiana. But I stopped there because eventually I got the news the announcement, as a matter of fact, from the uh, the lobby, uh, the airport in Muncie was frozen, and then we had to spend the night in Chicago, and then uh, we'll continue the next day. Now, the problem is that as a person who had not traveled worldly at all, who had not flown at all, didn't know what to do. I think I was told, anyway, I think there was some announcement that I was supposed to go to some place, I mean, some uh, motel and uh, blah, blah, and take all kind of uh, transportation, so forth, but couldn't hear. Mm, I couldn't understand English very well at the time, and also the, the announcement was not the you know, the vocal voice from the person, and it was through the uh, kind of uh, the machine, and then the sound was kind of hollow. Well, that's my excuses. Uh, anyway, I decided to crouch myself and then sleep any corner, at, at any corner of the lobby, the airport lobby. But I had a pretty big size of uh, luggage and I had to carry it to the corner and then maybe like this, maybe spend the night with me. Well, I was determined I'll survive. And I was looking for uh, some thing like a dolly or, oh, there. Mm. I noticed one person, uh, I think he was a Afro-American man. Maybe he was a Airport, the lobby porter or something and I approached him and uh, can I use it? I thought he would uh, charge me or at least lend me to use it because I couldn't afford to pay him completely. I didn't know the system anyway. So I just said, can I use it? Can I use it? Okay. I Actually, the question, can I use it, is very obscure. But anyhow, I thought he would say, sure, just gave it to me to use it, something like that. And then, wow, he just lift up my uh, luggage and then put it on the dolly and then and check it up and then move it over there. After that, he didn't go away. He turned around and stood like this. Oh, what's this? What do I have to do? Why doesn't he go? And I finally thought he may be wanting me to pay him some tip. And I said, how much do I owe you? It's up to you. At that time, my poor English made me think either he say, accept you, 
accept you. Like he accepts me means that for free or something. Oh, terrible. Shame on me. But anyhow, and then, no, in that case, he might have gone, but he's still here. That means he wants something. Oh, probably he might have said, it's up to you. It's up to you. Wow. That expression, I've never heard that, but I thought it's up to you. Oh, that means maybe uh, it depends on how much I can afford or how much I want to pay. Now, the problem is I understood the, what he said, but the problem is I didn't have any change handy. Not in my pocket. Uh, not even my in the luggage. I had some money, actually, only two hundred dollar bills. That's all I had. And what can I do with that, even though I take them out? Well, in fact, the blah, 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 I was explaining poorly, and he just had a nice trip. Boom. He ran away. Uh, not, not ran away, but he walked away. Boy, I was relieved. How beautiful his butt looked like. Looked. Well, sorry to say this way. But anyway, it was anyway a shame on me. I wish nobody saw me. <clears throat> now, I began to look around again to find a corner for my sleeping. Excuse me. I heard somebody right here. Well, I will continue the story what happened then. Right? This is what I have for today. Thank you.